you're looking at is the pedicardium pushing right at the heart. Oh, hi. Hi, my name is Joan, and I'm a first year student of Paksum uh, from KL. And my name is Nizar, and I'm also a first year medical student from Bahrain. Today, we're going to be your tour guide. So, welcome to Paksum. The Perdana University's interim campus is located on 130-acre land at the Malaysia Agro Exposition Park Sedang, in short maps. This campus is temporary until the end of 2015 when the permanent campus is completed. Although temporary, the interim campus currently fulfills all the educational needs of the students here and is well equipped with cutting-edge technological facilities in the field of medical training. Perdana University Graduate School of Medicine, or as we affectionately call it, Pugsam, has been created to mimic the tripartite missions of Johns Hopkins, those being clinical care, medical education, and biomedical research to elevate the Malaysian healthcare system to a higher level and transform medical education in Malaysia. The graduate entry model requires that students obtain a first degree, usually in science, before starting medical school and therefore students don't begin medical school until they're at least 21 years or 21 two years old allowing us to have a more mature curriculum with wiser students students who are more committed to a career in medicine students who are more acquainted to research students who want to be leaders in elevating the entire spectrum of Malaysian health care clinical care research and education into leadership throughout the world. We are now going to introduce you to the facilities within Block D of our campus. Here we are at the library. In this library, we have access to 50 desktop computers as well as a study space for 100 students. We also have two other private discussion rooms and we are also in the process of getting more books for the library. We also have a wide array of electronic resources that we can use, such as Access Medicine and MD Consult, two online resources that gives us the opportunity to look at journals online as well as textbooks that are on soft copy as opposed to the hard copy in the library. In addition, we also have Moodle, which we use for classes in order to update our lecture slides as well as for further information for personal or classroom research. This is the clinical skills unit that is equipped with hospital beds, simulated dolls, and medical instruments to create a real hospital environment. In addition, every week we get real life patients and we have the opportunity to take their history and also perform many of the physical examination maneuvers that we've learned about in class. Here we are at the multidisciplinary lab where we hold our pathology class. As you can see, this lab is well equipped with 42 desktop computers and four large screens where all the students can see what the instructor is zooming on on the pathology slides. To go to Puxum or not to go to Puxum? That is the question. Well, I wouldn't imagine why you wouldn't go to Puxum. Look at this amazing anatomy museum. All these body parts are plastinated real body parts. Here we are in our auditorium. This hall can seat 200 students. It is also equipped with a smart board that the instructors use for interactive learning. Every month, we have guest lecturers who give a talk on the research of interest. So besides studying and besides going to lectures, we actually also do a lot of other stuff. Like playing badminton. And ping pong. And we also channel our creative energy into performing dances and making sketches. The faculty members here are really supportive and dedicated. They want us to actually get the best out of our learning experience here. So to that end, they encourage us to really voice out 
our opinions to be opinionated and the learning that we have here are mostly student-centric and very active learning. We have the greatest respect for each other and but then again that doesn't really create a gap around us because over here in Park Song, we are really like a family. Thank you for joining us on our tour and we hope to see you again in the near future. That's it from us today. Good morning, good afternoon and good night.